Now, this isn't a question I get to ask a lot, but when it comes to book slinging, do you do your own stunts? <laughs> yeah. Bro. Bro. You do. Oh yeah. I threw those books at you. She didn't can. I? Um, she can throw some books. Ooh. It is terrifying. They were real books. Wasn't Some they? of them were real books. Some of them, the ones that hit your head must have been... <laughs> I think those were a little foamy. Foamy, yeah, yeah. okay. But let's just say Can't it was real for... Yeah, real, yeah. real books, real yeah. books. Real books. They were I've 18th got a century. Of, <laughs> I don't even know what wood. And then later you have to smash your head with a book as well. Yeah. Please tell me that was foam. Um, no, no, that it was, was real. also real. <laughs> yeah. It was real. We're very dedicated, you mm -hmm. see. Yeah. <laughs> when you take on a movie like this, you've got to do it properly. Yeah. Um, with this film, it is a unique, special thing, I think it's fair enough to say. How does it compare to any other work you've done making this movie? Because it feels very special to me. I think yeah. everything about it makes yeah. it special and unique. I mean, the complexity of the characters, the fact that it's period, but it's not like any other period film mm. I've ever done. You've never Done, I've never done one done period. period. <laughs> yeah. So this is a, a great entry into period they're film because like if they're all, okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm done. I'm done with this one. <laughs> Did you ever find yourself getting quite annoyed at Emma for her excellent English accent? Oh, that's very nice. That was you I saw on the horse this morning. I'm a servant. Where would I get a horse? Because it's staggering. That's really I sweet. agree. It's really well, she was staggering. incredibly helpful to me, too. Ah. Her interest is better than, it's better than mine. I was like, what? <laughs> it's not. No, I know. That, that's just completely meaningless, what I just said. <laughs> because you're but English. But you, 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 there was a read-through. Mm -hmm. I think you'd flown the night before mm -hmm. from L.A. because I think it had been the Oscars the day before. Yeah. So she's had a transatlantic flight, arrived, did a read-through. Perhaps you dreamt of me. Perhaps it was you, and I should have you stripped and whipped. I'm waiting. And it, it was a flawless English accent immediately. Good it was price. staggering. Very yeah, sweet. It, you must have worked. In, it's really hard to do. Well, I had to do. Uh, no, I had to audition for Yorgos in the English accent. That was a big part of it. So ah. I'd done some dialect coaching before to even be able to mm -hmm. try to play the role. But even so, but, that was within yeah, the space of a very short amount of time. It's staggeringly impressive. Really I'm staggeringly sweet. impressed. No, really, it's so hard to do. And I'm imagining, and this is, I'm not. I don't understand your methods necessarily, but if I had to learn an accent, I would try and use it in my day-to-day -day life. But it's a bit difficult to do that because if somebody catches you ordering a coffee in not your accent, they go... But I did do that. Oh, you did do I that? I did do that, yeah. Any taxi or, or Uber or um, time I was alone <laughs> in a restaurant or, or a bodega, I, I did have the accent. Okay. <laughs> did you, and you passed, yeah. And it passed, yeah. I, well, because it was such a great way to feel more comfortable and just kind of, you know, because mm -hmm. it was embarrassing to do that on set. <laughs> you know, they would yeah, have been understanding my yeah. yeah. It's weird to have an actual conversation in an accent that isn't your own. Can we talk about the dialogue in particular? Because I'm imagining for you guys, you both had your individual favorite lines. What stick in your minds even now? Let's shoot something. <laughs> Let's shoot something. <gasps> Sticks in my mind. Oh, it gives me the chills all over again to hear you say it. <laughs> um, my favorite line is one of Rachel's uh, mm -hmm. because I love the performance and I also think the line is so beautiful when she's behind the door and she's speaking to oh, Olivia oh, and she oh, says, yeah. that is not love. You know, th that entire scene, that whole concept of how, what she's describing love to be, mm -hmm. she's completely right and it makes me cry every time I see it because of your performance, but also because it's just such a beautiful concept. It's so true. It's not just yeah. telling someone that they look like an angel when they look like a badger. I'm ready for the Russian ambassador. Who did your makeup? We went for something dramatic. Do you like it? You look like a badger. Oh. But in that scene, <laughs> interestingly enough, I think it's solely on Olivia's face. You can just hear mm. my oh, character. it moves to you. Oh, does it? Oh, I forgot that. You Sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Whenever you watch I'm yourself, I'm trying to big up Olivia. Because no, she's yeah. there listening to this. Uh, no, we all know Olivia's terrible. Yeah, she's terrible. No, <laughs> don't big up Olivia. <laughs> what Olivia who? Her English oh. accent is a little ropey. Wasn't sure about a that. A bit ropey. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Yeah. Would you say this is the sweariest film you've both individually been in? Sweariest? Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. I was like, no. I was in super bad. Oh yeah. I think they say the f word like 120 <laughs> times. It, it rivaled Goodfellas. Yeah. It, <laughs> in so many ways. In so many ways. 
Was this the story for Super you? Bad, so <laughs> I love that film. But this has this has the scene. Sitting and watching Super Bad. Oh, more than one, many I times. Was. Oh, I'm so glad. I love Super Bad. In it's between like, takes, it's one of the great love stories. Like, it's, isn't it? Boy a love great, it's a great friendship yeah. story. Oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> we have the C. We have the C word right in this movie. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Oh, quite a few times. In America, is very bad. Mm. Oh God, it's in the worst. In England, it's quite bad. But in America, it's like straight to jail. <laughs> soon, as, soon as you saw that in the script, Tammy, you're like, ooh, I'm taking this role. Yes, please. Thank you I very much. I loved it. <laughs> yeah. No, it's very exciting. I very rarely bring props. I feel like a bad comedian at this point. But outside, I was shown the cards that they've oh, made yeah. for these. Have you seen them? The, I mean, they are astonishing. I know. Of Emma here. Fun. And my favorite of the lot. I know. It's a, That's, it's that's some great. good stuff. Would you recommend this film to anyone trying to genuinely study in any way Queen Anne's reign? Yes, definitely. It's totally accurate. I mean, in she did of... have gout. She did mm -hmm. lose 17 children in mm -hmm. a myriad of ways. She was, you know, the, the queen in that time period. And mm -hmm. there was a lot. There was Abigail a lot Masham did there. come to court mm -hmm. and use up Lady Marlborough. She um, did become the keeper of the privy purse somehow. We yep. don't totally understand what exactly happened, but there were love letters between Sarah and Anne. Yeah, mm -hmm. we don't know that if they, see. They, had, they, were, they had sex with each other, mm -hmm. but they definitely loved each other. And there were hell of a lot of wigs. That's, that's absolutely true. Yes. What sort of direction are you getting for this movie? Like, how, how would a typical day go, direction-wise? I do remember one time he did say to me, because I was playing a bit, saying a bit, I was being threatening to the Queen, and he said that was just a little X Men, <laughs> <laughs> which was his way of saying it was just like it was sort of a bit. It was a bit well, not right for his film. What should we say? <laughs> yeah, that's a really great. Note. It was a great note. I knew exactly what I he know meant. Exactly what you I mean. started to kind of go like that, you know. Talk, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like you're a villain in an X Men movie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? Everyone knows what that, that makes is. Yeah, sense. Yeah. I've got to remember that burn. Yeah. That was just a little bit X Men. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like that, then do watch these videos or you can listen to my podcast called Radio One Screen Time. Oh, and do not forget to hit that subscribe button. You can now get more Radio One in your life by downloading the BBC Sounds app or the BBC iPlayer app. Search for full-length versions of these interviews by typing in Movies with Ali Plum.